Sturdy, sturdy. Ladies and germs, first and foremost, I have to apologize. You're going to hear some background noise from rude people. Whoa, whoa. Who started yeah. cooking? Over here. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. Rude people. Let right. her make it. Yay. Oh, yeah. So, what is anyway. it, Bella? Yeah, what are they making? Corn casserole. Corn casserole. Oh, all right. It's your favorite one, right? Don't do it over there. Yeah. So, I want to start off by showing you guys what, uh, when I was in Arizona, I carried in my truck. This is my EDC. I hate terms like that. Everyday carry, and yes, um, my wife and daughter will verify. I have this on me 99% of the time. I carry it in stores. Um, and uh, you know, it's I have a very bad back, very bad, uh, and it's got a lot of metal in it, so I can't bend. This actually helps tilt me back and keep me from. So it actually works out. But um, wanted to tell you, we just went for a walk. We now moved from the very hot to the very cold. And I've had stuff like this. I've had stuff like this in my bag here for maybe a year, year and a half. And I was like, well, let me break some out today for my daughter's hands. And uh, lo and behold, took it out. Took it out and um, these didn't work. These hot hands, hot feet. Now, they felt like they were hard. I mean, all these, this packaging was not compromised. But I don't know if actually I had them in this pocket down here, so I don't know if. And this is where the backpack rests when um, you know when I put it down. So I don't know if just repeated pressure on it. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna try and put some more inside the bag. So we'll see. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I can't really blame. You know, I'm sure they weren't meant to get pounded on consistently for a year and a half and still expect it to work. Uh, this was a different brand. The hot hands definitely didn't work. This is Yak Tracks. Uh, it's about the same. I can feel a little bit of warmth coming off of them, but nothing that would do anything. So that's just a little tidbit if people keep those stored in a, in a bag or anything that is constantly, uh, you know, exposed to movement and pressure. It's they're probably not going to last long. Well, I can't say long, but mine didn't last for a year and a half. In the packaging, uncompromised. So, with that said, let's go start going through this. So, bottom little bag here. And this is the e-bags. E-bags uh, laptop slash camera bag. Um, I wanted it low-key. You know, not multi. I mean, I love multi-cam and military and molly, but I want to stay more low-key. So, I've got this. And when it came, it had zippers, you know, the, the little pull, and they're like clang, clang, clang. So I took paracord and I made these little pull tabs for each one. No noise. So, start out with this. I have obvious, uh, soft T wide, Gen 4. Um, you know, quick, pull it out of here, ready to go. No, it's not staged, but the last time I staged my, uh, my soft T, it just, I don't know. I don't see what the problem is. You rip these off, it, it turns into, I don't, I don't know. But don't take my word for it. Don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm talking about. Kind of, I don't. Um, kind of a new addition. I heard this stuff's really good. And, you know, with all the stuff that's happened in the last couple of years, if I pull up on a crowd of people and they surround the truck or some people start getting rowdy, and if I have the pro opportunity, you know, this is more for like, how do I explain it? I'd rather try this first than just start opening fire into a crowd of people surrounding the truck or something to that effect. Now I know some people are going to be like, oh, but that might cost your life because someone might pull out a gun. Ah, you know, you're right. But I guess time and a place for everything. So, yeah. Plus, there's you can definitely carry these more places than you can a gun. So... Tack Bivy by Frogco. Uh, and oh, by the way, none of this stuff was sent from to me. I bought this all with my own money. It comes with a little cheap carabiner, but hey, you know, pull the drawstring. I'm not going to pull it out. It's, you know, it's in there. It's, it's nice. And um, little, comes with a whistle. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah, I knew I shouldn't have. Hey, hey don't whip it out of my hand. Right there, I'm blowing that side. There you go. 
And I also have two Mylar rescue blankets. You know, these things uh, we use busted out one once. They hold they hold the heat in. So, it's, of course it's really So this side is a uh, drink. You put your drinks in here. Uh, drink water bottle. It, it fits it. It's kind of tight, but it fits. I keep a SWAT tee in here, a stretch one. Uh, there's a million uses for these, not to mention, from what I've been told, they're for, better for small kids. You know, just to stretch. So a lot of people talk smack about these, but again, it's situationally dependent in my opinion. They could be great. By the way, too, like I said, I'm switching environments, so I might pull out some stuff in here that uh, that uh, I might have to change out. In here, some of my meds that I keep with me that I might need. You know, and it's it's a little flat. It's nice to put some. I try not to keep get this. You know, it's getting it's getting morbidly obese, so I'm trying to flatten it out. What do we have in here? Oh my! Oh my! Oh boy! So. Here, if I remember correctly, it's, oh, refilling, how to refill uh, one of those butane lighters, because I can never remember. Usually what I have in here is an anchor battery pack, so I can recharge my phones, a, you know, a nice 10 or 20 thousand mAh, but it's getting charged. So that's what's usually in there. And here, I've got a uh, Leatherman, what is it, rebar. So nice you know you can look that up online if you want more info leatherman rebar and there's you know spots for cards in here if you want to put yeah whatever in this pocket you'll notice a trend i have one two three bic lighters and a butane lighter What else is in here? Oh. Flashlight. Oh. The, oh, there we go. Now let's put the cook it. Look at it. It's new. New and improved. Oh, nice. So, flashlight. Oh, you showed the Here, it fell over, but I got uh, markers. Markers and a pen. As you can Is see. A what? Is yes. A pencil? pencil right here. And then this is um, this is the straw for this. Especially for the back system. Uh, here's a bag that goes with it. And then oh uh, yeah. And here. I have a myriad of charging cables because like I said, I usually have an anchor charge in there. Um, a charger for pretty much anything you can imagine, including my Olight um, baton in my pocket. And then down here is another flashlight. Actually, that reminds me, this one's got to go on my keychain. I don't know why I stuck it in here. I think. So we got uh, that. This is the uh, hookup equipment for um, for bottles and the Sawyer. And uh, I also think this will do a quick kick disconnect to my um, water bladder if you put one in here. And actually, and then this is the mechanism to backwash the Sawyer when you're done with it. And so far out of everything you've seen here, these uh, charging wires and the anchor battery are the thing that I use the most. And that's more of a little piece. Okay, so I think that's everything in that pocket. Let's move this one. Now, the only thing I don't like, I wish these would open further, at least to here. It only opens thusly, so 
it's kind of annoying to, to kind of get in, in here, but these are, since I'm blind as a bat, these are whole glasses or whatever, if you want to call them. You can see those. Um, they actually do work. Like, if you have a prescription, and I do have a pretty severe one, they work. Now, as the light goes down, as it gets darker and darker, they, they don't work as well. But they do work. They'll get you home in a pinch. Because I was always terrified that if it was shit hit the fan or something, or, you know, I lost or broke my glasses, I'd be screwed. But uh, this kind of helps with that. Well, kind of does. What else we got in here? Extra magazine for my SIG P365XL. Remember I told you to start a, notice a trend with the Bic lighters, and then here is my flint, or whatever you want to call it. And I believe this is called the Gob Spark, and there it's good. What else do we have in here? This is just a little shelf. You can take, we can remove this if you don't want to use this pocket. You have more room in here. So, here. so that's like keeping that one. Uh, the top, now it's got three. You know, this one goes here. This is a little mini one here. What I have in here is a uh, ching handheld thermal. Uh, this is more of a toy I keep in here if we get bored or out somewhere. It's an uh, AMG ASP Micro T160. Uh, and I've tested this out and around and in the woods. This will identify a human and, or a dog or something uh, out to roughly 100 yards, 110 yards. So if you're worried about neighborhood trouble, if the power goes out, or if, if you're strapped for cash budget, which I understand most people are for, I believe this is, this is might even catch on sale for three, three 400 bucks on Amazon. Mm -hmm. This is, this is a good deal right here, in my opinion. Yes, there are way, way, way better ones, but they're also a lot more money. The one on my rifle was a lot more, a lot more. Let's see, this was four, you know, it's 50% more, 60% more than this one, so do the math there. And then, I take that back when I said the most thing I used in here was the uh, cords. This is the thing I used the most in here. This is a reusable, sealable wipe dispenser. And boy, oh boy, do people love you when you pull out these. Like, this will make you a hero right here. And you spill something, you have to go to the bathroom, and pull, or outhouses, you do a lot of... Or hiking, you out, you go to the porta potties, and boy, oh boy, popular person right here. <laughs> That's all I have in this one. What? And then, uh. are you all right over there? What's the matter, Booster? Are you yakking? Yeah. Why? What's the matter? Did you get something stuck in your throat? Babe, are you all right? I just threw up a little. Why? What? What did you see? I don't know. Um, okay, well, um, wash, babe, wash your mouth out and sip a little water so you don't get the stomach acid burn your throat. Did you eat something? Oh boy, huh? No? Okay, well, I guess she's okay. We'll go on with the show here, kind of. Um, this is the pocket I hope I don't ever have to, What? Oh, that's all right. This is the pocket I hope I don't ever have to go into. Again, with this opening system I don't like. Medical tape. Boo-boo pouch. And I have um, alcohol prep pads, Benadryl, and uh, little packets of antibacterial cream. Or, you know what I mean? The trip, you know, yeah, antibacterial. Uh, Benadryl and some Aspirin, Advil, and a couple other meds that are prescription. Uh, and this I can transfer around. Sometimes if I don't take this bag, I transfer this. You know, I can you can put it in your belt. This is um an STAC Molly belt converter. So you just put your belt through here. This is these are awesome. It's just a bunch of gauze to pack, you know. Um, gloves. Some uh, more wipes, 
just some skin patch stuff. These are antibacterial things. These are hundreds, believe it or not, just these right here, probably 300 bucks. Uh, I forgot how I got them, but you put them in wounds, they suck up the blood, they're, they're incredible. Okay, this in here, I'm not gonna roll it, but this is probably 10 or 20 cotton balls, completely caked in Vaseline. Uh, to start a fire, you know, with the certain, you know, if you need to. And these, boy, oh boy, are they easy to light and they burn for quite a long time. One cotton ball, I think I timed it, was 10 minutes, if not longer. Okay, actually, I think it went so long I lost track, so it might be way longer than 10 minutes, but yeah. Good stuff. Just make sure you double, triple bag those or else you'd be. You'd be yeah. Now, so this, let's start off. This is. Something you get, I got this for, it's for, they made for suitcases traveling, so you can put like your toiletries in here. But obviously I've used it for this. And in the back pocket, I think I just have gloves. Oh, nasal, nasal pharyngeal, doodaddy, marker, uh, compressed uh, bandage. More tape. Well, this stuff's kind of wimpy. Dave, are you feeling any better? Uh, you all right? Maybe Tums or something? Yeah. Should I try some? Zofran? Mm, yeah, maybe. So here we have some uh, medical uh, kind of duct tape. It's it's all right. Medical duct tape. Here we've got H and H compression gauze. This stuff is good stuff. And we've got the combat gauze that's impregnated with quick clot. I used to carry around back in the day when it first came out the granules, but apparently they're not as good. You know, in various situations they can blow all over or whatever. Huh? Got clamp. You know, if, if you got an arterial bleed. Okay. If you got some sort of bleed, you know, if you can find the artery, you know, if you have the time, obviously, um, oh, you can clamp this off and then, you know, kind of wrap it into the wound. Shears, obviously, I'll have to take those out. What are shears? Scissors. Got here. Now you can see it. Olay's bandage, a four-incher. I should get a smaller one from here, but... Gloves, and then I'm not going to take this out, but this is a chest seal in here. Mm -hmm. chest, chest seal? A, ch a sucking chest wound. In case you got to get shot in the chest or a hole in your chest, you need to cover it. And it's vented. These are vented. Um, and what I, I don't have, if you'll notice, a decompression needle, but I am absolutely not trained on those. Now, I know the argument is someone around you, if you're at a accident site or whatever, might be trained, so that's why it's good to have it, and I kind of agree with that. That's I, a decompression needle. I just have to get one. That's a needle that you stick in someone's uh, chest if it's um, if it's they can't release the air out of it. It's kind of is what it is. I'm, that's a loose general. Um, yeah, I'll tell you later in the video. No questions during the video. What not? What if other people don't know that? I don't know. Reach stuff. Reasons. So it yeah. Be with my magnet. Okay. Why does that smell like magnet. cat crap all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway. So yeah, there's my bag. I've got to. Uh, I think I'm going to try to reconfigure it for uh, colder weather, or maybe add another bag in my truck. That's what I need is a dedicated bag for my truck for colder weather with cold weather stuff. But yeah, there we are. If you have any comments, let me know.